Chinese President Hu Jintao is paying a four-day visit to the U.S. Let's take a look at the latest. China and the United States have signed deals worth 45 billion U.S. dollars during Chinese President Hu Jintao's state visit to the United States. And U.S. President Barack Obama said China's peaceful rise is good to the world. After a grand welcoming ceremony on Wednesday, the two presidents held official talks at the White House to map out major directions to develop bilateral ties. They agreed to jointly establish a Sino-U.S. partnership based on mutual respect, mutual benefit and win-win cooperation. At a press conference later, Obama Good said the United States welcomes China's rise. I absolutely believe that uh, China's peaceful rise is good for the world, and it's good for America. We also think that China's rise offers enormous economic opportunity. We want to sell you all kinds of stuff. Uh, we want to sell you planes. We want to sell you cars. We want to sell you software. Um, and as President Hu uh, and his government uh, refocuses the economy on expanding domestic demand. Uh, that offers opportunities for U.S. businesses, uh, which ultimately translates into U.S. jobs. The two leaders agreed to deepen mutual trust between the two countries and strengthen coordination on major regional and world issues. We agree to strengthen consultation and coordination on major issues that concern peace and development in the Asia-Pacific region and in the world. China and the United States will enhance coordination and cooperation and work with the relevant parties to maintain peace and stability on the peninsula, promote denuclearization of the peninsula and achieve lasting peace and security in Northeast Asia. We will work with the United States and other countries to effectively address global challenges such as meeting the climate challenge, terrorism, transnational crime, energy and resource security, food security, public health security and serious natural disasters so as to forge a bright future for the world. The U.S. president also welcomes China's flexibility of the RMB but calls for more. I told President Hu that we welcome China's uh, increasing the flexibility of its currency. But I also had to say that the RMB remains undervalued, that there needs to be further adjustment in the exchange rate, and that this can be a powerful tool for China boosting domestic demand and lessening the inflationary pressures in their economy. A state dinner for President Hu is scheduled later on Wednesday.